Hi, I'm Becca Aronson with the Texas Tribune, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use a tree map. This type of data visualization is called a tree map because like a tree, it continuously divides data into smaller branches. At the top of the tree map are tabs that represent each level of division and the order in which they will occur. Larger groups of items will always go towards the upper left corner of the screen, and smaller groups of items will always go towards the bottom right. If you roll over a single item, it will list all of the qualities in the order of the tabs at the top of the screen. If you're only looking for a certain type of advertisement, you can search the data. All of the advertisements will become highlighted. If you want to look at a subset of data more closely, right click, or if you're using a Mac, control click. Here I've zoomed in on only Bill White advertisements. Because election is the second tab, it shows me primarily how many advertisements he released during the governor primaries compared to the governor's election. If I move promotional attack to the second position, now I can see proportionately how many promotional advertisements he released to Rick Perry. The gray line dividing promotional advertisements represents the third level of division, election. These are from the primaries and these are from the governor's race. Right click or control click again to zoom out and view all. As we saw with the zoomed in view, by moving the tabs you can change the perspective of your tree map. Here we're looking at Republican advertisements compared to Democrat and third party because we moved political party to the first position. If we move election to the second position, now a big purple block appears. By highlighting these, we see they're all from the governor primaries. In comparison, Democrats only have three from the governor primaries. This might explain why there's so many more Republican advertisements than Democrat. The more views that you generate from the tree map, the more you can learn. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have fun.